Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we're going to pick up where we left off in part two of this copper utensil set series. And we are going to make the actual ladle and spatula sections themselves out of copper. So there's not a whole lot that you have to take and do with this here other than just cut out the general shapes. Now for a ladle I chose to use four and a half inch or you can go four inches if you will with a shallower uh, cut there which should be around a hundred mil in diameter for those of you that don't know by eighth inch copper thick plate. Um, main point here you want to cut to the outside of your line if you scribed a pattern which I did on this so this way it can be cleaned up later with a file or a sander. After that we're going to take the simplest part first which is the spatula. All it requires is to be clamped in a vise with really sharp edges to create a crease at the bottom end of the radius. We're going to start there first and bend it at exactly a 90. Then we will go over to the horn itself and take and straighten that 90 degree back out to the proper angle in which the spatula will fill nicely in the hand. No magic here, just straighten it out. So once that's done, now we're going to go ahead and work at putting some bevels on this. Now an eighth inch plate, believe it or not, does not scoop very nicely at all food. So you've got to bring this edge down. Not a whole lot. We're going to refine this with a grinder. Uh, in the next video and we're going to take it down even thinner yet but this allows us to not have to grind away so much material and it just improves the overall uh, finish. So now I'm just working on the ladle portion. Uh, this is going to be kind of a quick video here because this is all pretty standard stuff for the ladle sets. Now few things to point out here if you do not have a steel swedge block you can use a wooden stump with a depression uh, carved out in it for this process and in a lot of ways that's nicer I'm using a leather mallet to shape this hot into this steel block you can also work this copper cold it just takes a little longer because it's being so thick So the last step in this process, we are going to take and drill some holes into the slotted ladle or the strainer ladle. And that's going to pretty much complete this video. Now, whenever you're working with something like this, it's very odd to take and hold in a drill press. So be very, very careful with your hands um, and actually drilling here. Um, in fact, if you can find a way of clamping it better than what I've done here for this video, I would highly advise it. But yeah, pretty much this is about it. You know, we're just going to drill some holes, get, uh, make a plus pattern, if you will. And essentially I'm going to create a grid of about nine holes on this bowl. So I go left to right first, then up and down off the center hole. And then I put a hole in equal lateral distances from the center on the corners or on the diagonal. And then that completes the actual ladle set. As you can see, it's a little tricky to hold it on here, but it does work. You just have to be careful, once again, of your hands. So you can see me flipping it around, getting it lined up. Now you can get as accurate as you like with this. I don't particularly go that accurate with these. Um, I don't find that there's a point. I can usually eyeball it good enough. It's on a radius. But if you need to center punch mark it first, that may be ideal. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure to stay tuned for part three when we do all the finish work and the assembly. 
Thank you all for watching. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.